Mr. Prussian, you have told us that you joined the Communist Party in all sincerity, but that later your conscience bothered you and you volunteered your services to the FBI as a counter-spy within the party. Are you able to trace this decision to withdraw to any particular incident or situation? Yes. In the beginning, the Communists got to me by lionizing me. At Wayne University in Detroit, I was a fairly good football player and a better than average student. But there was a big depression on. I was concerned with my own future. There was a 50% raise in tuition all of a sudden. I did not know it then, but this had been agitated by communists on the faculty. In typical communist fashion, they worked both sides against the middle. I was flattered into organizing the students against the tuition raise. At that time, I did not realize those persuading me were communists. One was a fellow football player. Another was a professor on the campus. We were successful in forcing the university not to raise the tuition. I was lavishly praised for this. Then, in what appeared to be my hour of glory, I was invited to become a communist. What they told me was their own particular version of the Sermon on the Mount. It's always that way with communists. What they say in the beginning makes so much sense. What they promise is so desirable. They hooked the poor Russian people the same way. Now, 45 years have passed, the average Russian is no better off, actually worse off than before. But the communists who invited me to join them appeared to have the solution for all the problems of humanity, including my own. I fell for it. And I would be less than truthful if I didn't admit that I was a genuine convert and a hard-working communist for several years. It was all so exciting that it was some time before I began to realize that I was having difficulty in renouncing God. But it was easier to do as I became increasingly aware of the men of religion, the clergymen, in the Communist Party. If they could reject God, why couldn't I? What I did not know at that time was this. There are almost no clergymen who become communists. It's communists who become clergymen. The church, any church, is always eager to enlist the bright scholar, the persuasive speaker. That is why it is so easy for a communist to become a clergyman. I do not know exactly what precise point I decided to break away from the party, but I do know what caused my first deep disgust with communism. I worked as a communist in the door press department at the Biggs Motor Car Company in Detroit, Michigan. One of my fellow workers, in his eagerness to facilitate his operation, ignored the safety code which required him to push two buttons overhead to actuate the die downward on the sheets of metal he placed in the press. This safety measure made it impossible for him to have his hands in the press when the die plunged downward. He simply jammed the two buttons so that the die would move up and down without any stops. Unfortunately and tragically, this man, through his own carelessness, had his right hand smashed off at his wrist. The communists in the plant, my fellow comrades, reacted to the accident with a set of emotions that clashed with something deep inside me. Totally free of any compassion for the man who had lost his right hand, the other communists appeared happy over the situation, almost reveling in sadistic joy over the agitation value of the incident. After all, they would blame management. I realize now for the first time that here was something repugnant to God, to any human being with humane sensibilities. I was ashamed to be part of it. Not long after, I made my first attempt to pull out. I did not succeed. The law would not take me seriously. Behind me was a record that was not good. It was almost 12 years later before I could convince the FBI. Altogether, I worked as a counter-spy within the communist conspiracy for 12 years. I finally had to surface for only one reason. I came to the conclusion that my country was losing the battle. And if there was any chance that we still might win, maybe my knowledge of the conspiracy through testimony would help. 